Thank you, Rob. And uh, thanks to all of you for showing up uh, to preview version 5 of our software. We appreciate you taking the time to do that. So let me go ahead now and show you the new version. And there it is. This is our new uh, highly responsive, very modern looking uh, interface. You're looking at the dark skin right now. We've uh, baked in, uh, for those that you don't know, uh, JW Player and uh, the Wowza Streaming Engine to power our product. Uh, the first thing I'd like to talk about here is the branding. So up above here, there's the logo that can be uh, easily changed, as well as the uh, image in the middle there, something that you can uh, change. Uh, I could envision seeing people change this every quarter uh, just to keep the site fresh and reflect what's going on uh, at their school or institution. You'll notice that we have um, put some very uh, minimalistic uh, icons in. They're, they are animated. They do have labels that will help uh, new users get familiar with where they want to go. But again, we're trying to create an environment that's extremely clean and uh, lacking in visual noise. We do have a new um, user information area, allows you to directly jump to some of the uh, most used uh, backend items like content, preferences, and so forth. Another thing that we're doing to create um, a clean environment is we're now hiding the category section. So it's a drop down menu. Uh, I can see some people are making comments on uh, can this be uh, in the open position? And yes, this is going to be admin uh, accessible to set up for collapse or expand. Uh, to show you quickly how uh, modifiable this is, I, I did set up another site that I'm working on and uh, let me just show you how it can look uh, by just changing a, a logo and some images and a little bit of different content. So here's another site completely uh, branded quite a bit differently. So medial other site. Uh, now if I scroll down a little bit we have the uh, featured area Oops. right here. It does have some abilities that uh, are new. Uh, we, you can as an admin you can modify or delete content by just clicking here. We have some new arrows uh, that are animated and minimalistic that allow you to scroll through and uh, go below that, you have your most recent, most played, and then we have a random uh, content here. As you can see, we do have some animations that are going on that allow you to see some additional uh, information. Now let me take you to the player page. Again, the player page has also been fully redesigned, very clean, fully responsive. I'll demonstrate the responsiveness right now. So we went from a desktop, let's say we're now down to about a tablet. Now I take it all the way down to a mobile phone. Uh, so now we can make sure we're handling all screens from desktop to mobile. Um, we've taken and cleaned up the uh, sharing. We put it here so you can share. This uh, URL will take you to a browser tab and open a window there. And here uh, you have embed code uh, with several different uh, selections. Uh, the default is responsive, but if you're working with uh, some slightly restrictive parameters or specific parameters, you can uh, choose from these three options here. Some nice new features that uh, are part of our newest JW Player uh, implementation are a uh, multi-speed playback. So now you have the ability to select um, several different speeds. 
Uh, this has been a big request uh, from the educational market. Evidently, students just don't want to wait around. We will also have a variable bit rate that is auto sensing will be released in version five. And uh, shortly after that, there will be an update that would allow users to select their preferred streaming quality. Down below, you'll notice we have an information area that allows uh, additional engagement by users and it has four different tabs. So currently we're on the About tab and yes, uh, you will be able to remove the Download uh, button here. The next uh, tab is the Discussions to increase uh, some social activities with the asset. You can attach different files to the asset and then we've got a new uh, built from the ground up chapters. So chapters uh, can be uh, created on the fly, which is real nice. While you're watching the content, you can uh, create chapters. Uh, there are two different types of chapters. There's public, which is typically uh, used by the creator of the content to mark or break up uh, the video to, to uh, for let's say for instance in, a, in an event where you might have multiple speakers uh, you might want to create a chapter for each speaker uh, if it's a lesson you might want to create uh, multiple chapters for the different topics that are being covered so so let me create a couple of private chapters uh, real quick I'll start streaming so we're watching the video and I say okay this is something interesting so I start a chapter and it creates it right down here Below, you can easily change the name and you can add some content uh, down below. Now you say stop and let's start. Uh, we're continuing to watch. Oh, this is very interesting here. And we create another chapter. That's how easy it is. So now these chapters also have the ability to be, you can look at them directly and you're only watching that little segment and you can actually share that segment with other users. Now at any time you want to go back and watch the full video from that segment you'll click here and it'll bring you back to the entire video. So that's kind of a nice feature makes it very easy uh, for either the creator or a viewer to make some markings on a piece of uh, content. They're just one final portion of the player page and that would be the additional content from the same category down below. Uh, you can either click on the video to open up the player page uh, if you want to look at anything particular down here or you can actually click here for more from a particular category. So we'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you the uh, category page which is also the same as what it would look like if you were doing a search. This would be the search result page. So that concludes uh, the library portion of version 5. Uh, let me go ahead and give it back to you, Rob. One moment.